Let's have a look into the NFC technology also in comparison to other wireless technologies. NFC is a short range wireless technology with only a few centimeters of communication distance. It's based on existing 13.56 megahertz RFID contactless card standards which are established for several years and are used for payment, ticketing, electronic passport, access control, among many other applications. Data rates start at 106 kilobits per second and go up to 424 kilobits per second. A few NFC devices are already capable of supporting up to 848 kilobits per second, which is now being considered for inclusion in the NFC forum specifications. Compared to other wireless communication technologies, NFC is designed for proximity or short range communication, which provides a dedicated read zone and some inherent security. The frequency band is 13.56 megahertz, therefore falls into the ISM band, which is available worldwide. Speaking further to the technology, it is a bi-directional communication, meaning you can exchange data in both directions with a typical range of 4 to 10 centimeters, depending on the antenna geometry and the output power. With a smartphone, you normally will get less range than with a dedicated reader device due to a lower output power. The NFC specifications are defined by an industry organization called the NFC Forum, which has nearly 200 member companies. It has been formed in 2004 to advance the use of near-field communication technology by developing specifications, ensuring interoperability among devices and services, and educating the market about NFC technology. The NFC Forum members are working together in task forces and working groups. As said before, the NFC technology is based on existing 13.56 MHz RFID standards and includes several protocols such as ISO 14443 Type A and Type B, JISX 6319-4, which is also a Japanese standard known as Sony Felica. In brackets, we've also included the ISO 15693 standard, which is an, an additional 13.56 MHz protocol established in the market for which the NFC Forum has a task force to integrate it into the NFC specifications. Smartphones in the market are already supporting the ISO 15693 protocol. These NFC specifications, and especially the specifications for the extended NFC functionalities, are again standardized by the international standard organizations like ISO IEC, ECMA, and ETSI. Coming now to the operating modes of NFC. The NFC forum has extended the functionality of a traditional RFID system and has defined three operating modes for NFC devices. Reader-writer, card emulation, and peer-to-peer. -peer. This is a new definition of the functionality compared to legacy RFID standards. With a legacy RFID system, you always have a reader-writer device on one side and a transponder on the other. The reader-writer generates the RF field and the transponder communicates back to the reader-writer using load modulation. The requirement for NFC is that the NFC device in the smartphone can change the operating mode depending on the use case and application requirements and also that the one smartphone can communicate directly with another smartphone. So the peer-to-peer -peer mode has been added where two NFC devices can talk to each other directly and either device can initiate the communication. In the reader-writer mode, smartphones can read or write the memory of NFC transponders and can also communicate with smartphone which are working in card emulation mode. And in card emulation mode, the NFC device is able to behave like a contactless card or an NFC transponder. 